Hello everyone, my name is Filipa and welcome back to a new MTG Arena YouTube video. This is a Golgari Domain spicy list and you guys know, I love Golgari. If you love Golgari too, hit the subscribe button and comment I love Golgari. But this one has some spice on it, because I want to take advantage of the domain synergy to play cards like Atraxa and Leyline Binding. So let's take a look here. First, we are playing to cut down removal. There's a lot of monogred, red running around. Also, again, soldiers, this card is amazing. Three, go for the throat. We have one tier Ashender. We have three Trespassers, two Path of Peril. This card works super well. You can maneuver to just use the cost of three to destroy all creatures with mana value two or less. Once again, this is amazing against aggro decks. Or you can just play, pay six mana and destroy everything if you need to do so. We have four trackers. So this card is really good, three mana, two, three. But when he enters, he makes a clue. Uh, so you can tap pay two for that clue to give you a card later on and as long as you control a token which a clue is a token this gets plus two plus zero so it's going to usually be a four three vigilance for three mana and later on you can optimize and use that clue to get you some card advantage we have one the celeste and this card surprised me so much it is amazing uh, so it has the day bound mechanic it also ramps you for one mana and for three mana you can tap it and if it's night it becomes day otherwise it becomes night you can only activate this as a sorcery. And then whenever day becomes night or night becomes day, you gain one life. You may draw a card if you do discard a card. We have three Shieldred the Apocalypse. I mean, if you're playing Golgari, you have to play Shieldred. It's a great card. We have Geek's Command. Once again, it acts as a board wipe. It works so well against aggro creatures because you're going to destroy everything they have. And then you can put two plus one plus one counters on one creature you control and get lifelink to it. So that lifelink part is amazing. You also have a couple of other options, but usually this is what we go for. Uh, we have also two Voring Clex. This gets you extra lands that we need on, and it also has Trample and Reach. And Reach is important because it's a, a, the fastest way we have to block something with Flyer. We also have a Traxa, but that comes later in. And now the spicy part for Leyline Binding. And we are playing with every Triumph, so we make sure that this Leyline Binding only costs one mana. And we know how good this is. In Flash, we can take everything the opponent controls. Uh, so this just for one mana, imagine instant speed. You can just take their Wandering Emperor, their Shieldred, whatever you want. We have Tovolar's and Master. We need a six drop in this deck and this fits in perfectly. It's a six mana, six, six. Whenever it enters battlefield, create two. Tutu's Green Wolf tokens, and it also has Day Bound, Night Bound. If it becomes Night, this gets even crazier. And I love winning with Wolves, because they are so adorable. So why not? This card is a must and definitely fun to have in the deck. We have three Herald Migrations, seven mana, it has Domain. Create a 3-3 three, three Green Beast for each basic land type you control. And usually this is going to be five 3-3 three, three Beasts. Or if you're playing against mono red, you're never going to have time to do this. So you're going to pay two mana. This card is in instant speed to search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in your end and shuffle and you gain three life. So the three life being very important against more aggressive decks. We have three attracts at Grand Unifier. Usually by the time you cast this, they already lost. And with Celestus, it will going to appear usually one turn earlier. We are playing two plains, one island, two swamps, three forests, and we are playing all these basics because of the earth migration. We have Buseju, we have Dead Cap Glade, we have Lenore Wastes. Then we have all the Triumphs and one spicy Mirex, because who doesn't like winning with that poison counters? This is the deck. It's very fun, so shout out to the VML player that submitted this deck. I took the list from there, so shout out to you for creating this amazing list. Let's try some game. Keep. This is a good end. It's a bit slow, but if I get something like a Leyline Binding, it can be good enough or a tracker. And we are on the place, so another reason that I'm keeping this end. Okay. This is great. That way next turn I can play the tree drop. Then I have Shieldred. Ooh. Mm. 
This is also kinda tempting. This can activate, so... Not going to fall for that. Just going to pass. I'll take this. To be honest, I think I'm just going to take the pot to Peril next. Okay, now things are a bit different. In this case, I'm going to cycle just to see. Okay, we get 5 mana. Might need to play my own. Come on, don't have an answer for my children. Okay. Start blocking. I need to, if I can conserve my life totals, I'm okay. I'm the one that has the Atraxa. That's annoying, but sure. <laughs> okay, never mind. Now it's great. Can be this. Maybe I'll take care of everything in the board. Yeah, because next turn I can play either Tovolars or Atraxa. And it's night as well. Nice. I can make them sacrifice that. Wolf Tribal, let's go! Even if there's a board wipe, I have a Traxa. Like, how can you deal with a Traxa? You can't. That's the answer. You can't deal with it. Just too good? It looks like my opponent is roping me. Come on, this deck is fun. Cannot be mad by losing two Tovlar's pack leader. How can you be sad to, look, to lose to so many cute wolves? Let's just attack for the win. More wolves. Let's go. Pack leader for the win. This is great for me. I mean, early lane line, that's what I thought. No. Not the mono red. No, 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 no. Okay, at least could be a faster start for them, in all honesty. And now I can bind something next. I have the tracker. So, you know, could be worse. Maybe I just take the damage. Keep the binding for something. Oh, for that. Oh, for that. Okay, 
Okay, so... I can attack because this has Vigilance. I also have Usagio. So let's just see what happens. So let's take care of that. Now the play with fire does not take care of my tracker. Ruining all their plans. And next I have Geek's Command and things can change. Ah, come on. Okay, but at least they had to use all their cards. Could be worst. Do I just go for Voring Place? I think I might just go for... Destroy which creature with power two or less, which is everything on their side, and return up to. Yeah, I don't have any creatures, so what can I do? I do have Warringlex next. Okay, that's fine. Ha! Shielded is even better. I do need to start gaining life. Shielded is the right way to do so. Let's attack. Let's play Tovulars. Can they deal 8 damage? 2 damage. Still 6 to go. <laughs> Crushing mono red. Let's go. I'll keep this. I mean, there's removal, there's ways to get lands or domaining away. I wish we were on the play, but that's fine. Hmm. Jund. One in doubt, jund them out. Am I right? Okay. There's cut down, but I don't think anything I'll probably be able to cut down yet. That's... That's not going to be it. We can do the same. We can do a copy situation. Unfortunately, this land is missing things like Atraxa, Celestus. Okay. There might be removal. Oh, big score. Okay. You have my attention. There's a lot of men now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This might be breach. No, not my Atraxa. Not my Atraxa. Oh my god, it is my Atraxa. And Atali. It feels so bad to be on the other side. Is that what I do to my opponents? Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to let them finish the game. But objectively, what can I do? What can I do? I guess I'm allergic to this situation. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, what, 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 what? This is my worst nightmare. Sure. More exiling things. I have to jump block. If I had one more man, I could at the least do something, but not like this. Okay, let's see what is my top deck. It's not enough. It's definitely not enough.
you see where it says owner Philippa? That's the face of a traitor, Atraxa. That's a face of a traitor. Oof, this would be such an easy keep if I add white, but we do have the Celestus that can kind of fix us, so... Hello! Okay. It might be something with Nisa, right? Usually Nisa decks run these lands. This is perfect now. Starting to get that discount on the binding. If they don't play anything scary, I might just go for Celestus. Start the ramp going. Let's start taking action as well. Oof. What do I take away? I cannot cast children, but I can can I take a shield away? I will. I mean I cannot cast it, so. I mean I can, I have the Celestus, duh! Okay, fine. This is still good because we create a clue and we still have the Leila and Binding. Nothing, so we know what that means. There is Wandering on the way. I'm actually not going to attack. This can give us a lot of value, so I'm just going to take some of our lands that can provide us uh, some cycling ability, which is important. Aha! Of course. The energy of battle, then guide it like water. Sure. Don't really care about that too, too. Take action. <laughs> it's an Atraxa. Love that. <laughs> ah! A 1-1. One, one. When I have Atraxa in end, ready to roll very soon. I think next turn. Let's start by attacking with everything. There's not even if enough mana for something like... Okay... I, would, I was going to say the Wanderer, but... Sure. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa. My Roaring Clex is gone. My people. This is what you get for hurting my people. But I can still do this. So let's see what we find. This is a great sorcery. Land can be the Raffin's Tower. Go for Throat is good, another Atraxa is good as well. Might be a farewell. Okay, it's another wanderer. We have binding so that can help us. If you can. You live because I allow you. Sure. We've got the edge in this fight. Okay. Let's go for throw this. We can get rid. Come on, I was having fun now. Always when I start to have fun, my opponent can sit. <laughs> okay, this is a great start. Lands go look very good. Okay, we have two Leyline Binding, which are going to have a huge discount. We already have the Tracker and Celestus. Tapped land, go. Let's play our tapped land as well. Go. Leyland Binding already only costing two mana there. They're playing Grixis, which I haven't seen in a while. People tended to go to rack those, but maybe after the ban things changed a bit. Ooh. That's that's something. Ooh, me Rex. Let's go for our tracker.
Okay, that's fine. They are going to get starting to get some mountains there. I might just go for Celestus, Celestus to be honest. Ooh. That can be fun. Now I'm going to attack. I have Vigilance, so nothing to lose. And we can start ramping as well with the Celestus. If they don't play anything, it becomes night, and then I can start getting some sweet value with Celestus. Oof. That needs to be binded ASAP. Hmm. Ah, damn it. I have to let it happen, though. I could bind the bind as well, but I think this is fine. I'm going to exile the farmland. And if they play these, I can go for the destroy all creatures with mana value two or less. That should be pretty good against them. Lay down arms! That card is so lame. Come on, one mana, destroy my things. Exile my things, which is even better. At least they have to discard something and I'm going to gain some life. Fine. If they want to transform these, I'm actually okay with that. What is this? Tatic Nest. Fine. So they are not utilizing the incubation there. I'm going to draw from the clue. And if I don't play anything, it becomes night, so that's good for me. My life total is very comfortable. Ooh, another binding. So let's just let it become night. So we can get the Celestus activation thing. If it's either day or night, it becomes day. Take action. We have to discard something. Damn it, I like everything. Honestly, I'll take that down because I have the peril thing. Plus the ley nine binding. I'll take damage. And I might even use the Celeste's ability. Yeah. No, what did I do? I didn't do that. I want. I didn't want to do that. Okay, let me undo. Let me undo. How can I undo this? Aha! There we go. I want to do the three mana. Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. Uh, let's let's forget about that part. So I'm going to start by using this. Destroy all creatures with mana, two or less. And my bindings are now only costing one. Make this appear. I don't have enough mana to pay for it, so let's just let it resolve. Decline. I kind of want to do this. Land goes out, I need these bindings. I know he's binding the binding. And I still have a clue. So I can draw a card. I can take the damage. So right now it's day, so they need to play something. There it is. So I think they're... Oof. Okay, so I have to use binding there.
Mm. Let's draw. Haha, <laughs> that's good. I can actually play it next turn. Sure. Just hoping there's no more counter magic. Fine. Gonna counter it. Haha! -ha. Let's go! So, land. We can do this so I can play a binding. Another Traxa, please. Go for throat, please. I think that's it. Let's take care of these. Ace up. It's your go. <laughs> I don't know how they are going to get out of the situation. It does not seem easy. Okay, they are trying to look for some answers. What can you do against a Traxa though? Not much. Okay. I don't need the land. To attack. If I do two spells though, it becomes night. Day. It becomes day. So maybe I actually. Oh, I cannot target that. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. That's fine. I can start doing some Mirex. Can start attacking with some toxicity. And we have another Atraxa, so. You know, you leave and you learn. So, Atraxa. She's good. She's good. She's good. This is good. Let's take care of this. Because I want to start doing some toxic damage. Take action. Well, I hope I don't deck out. No, I still have 29 cards, so we should be fine. Zur, what is this? Enchantment creatures you control have death touch lifeling and X proof. Ooh. That's cool. I see. I see the deck idea now. Took a while to realize, but Zur. That makes more sense now. Okay. It has that touch, so I'm going to block with my Atraxa. And then I get my bridge back. My breed bridge Biria Brach binding. Oh I cannot Oh he did not attack with it. Okay, so I'm just going to do no blocks. I don't wanna have to deal with it. Okay. I can take care of Zur though. That's pretty good if you ask me. Now let's see Xyle Zur just in case. It has to be now, come on. Good game. Great game, they had a fun deck. Zur seems amazing. Unfortunately, I think it came a little bit too late for them, but nice game. That's it, I hope you enjoyed. If you do, don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and comment if you like the deck and what is your favorite magic card of all time. Mine is Peter Blossom. See you next time.